It's Mark Drakus way doing a big three when it was a two-point ball game late. And in the first half, Mark Drakus, when everything was going so well, would you have envisioned a finish like this? Oh, not at all. I, I, but at the same time, I felt like uh, those guys played hard. I knew they weren't just they weren't going to back down, so we just had to stay at it. I think we came out second half really flat and um, let those guys get their confidence up. They start making shots, penetrating, get on the line, free throw line. So that was one of those things we got to capitalize on. Second half got to come out with a lot more energy, a lot more intensity. Why did it, why did that happen? How do you come out flat? Um, just sometimes um, coach said you, you get the making shots, you get the forcing turnover, you get easy buckets. It's kind of like fools go, you think you can do it again. And so we felt like we had these guys. Uh, already put away first half. We felt like they was going to lay down once we came out, and that wasn't the case. Those guys came out with the mindset that uh, they weren't going to back down and they, gonna, they was going to bring it to us, and that's what they did. You did force 19 turnovers, but the Hogs had 17. That's very uncharacteristic. Uh, un unlike us at all. And uh, we have to, we, sometimes we get a little sloppy, but not normally. But uh, when, when those things does happen, we got to get stops, and we didn't do that. We can't turn the ball up and then not get stops. So we need to do a better job of getting stops when we turn the ball over and getting back in transition. The one thing you did do in the second half, you were out rebounding the first half, out rebounded by them by like eight in the second half. What was the difference? Uh, the difference was hitting guys, guys just standing around. I think we had a couple guys leaking out. We had a couple guys wasn't hitting guys. And so and we, need to, we needed all five guys in there. In the second half, we did that. A lot of um, big-time rebounds came in with the ball, like Cody, Bobby got some, Mike got some. And even uh, our freshman, uh, Mosley Kings, came in with a lot yeah. of energy, a lot of effort. I mean, he kept a lot of those rebounds alive for, us to, uh, for the guard to pick up. Think about this. Moses didn't play that many minutes, but he got two big rebound baskets. Oh, uh, yes, he did. I mean, he, he comes in with the mindset of he's going to get stops and he's not going to let nothing easy come around that rim. And uh, that's what we need more players thinking like. And uh, he's a great, he's a great uh, tribute to this team. Shooters go into slumps and you lose a little bit of confidence. You've got your confidence back. What were you thinking when you hit that three? Uh, they swung it the first time I was open and they told me, should I say, so we got to, it was still a lot of time left on the clock. I felt like I was going to get that shot again. And, uh, Thank God, I got it again with like another 10 or 11 seconds left on the clock, and I and I knew I, I was going to take that. I didn't want to rush it. I didn't want to rush anything. I knew the ball was going to swing back to me. Once you get that two possession lead in about the last minute, you you start feeling a little bit more comfortable, don't you? Uh, a lot more comfortable. You know, you start playing with a little swag a little bit. You start just just toning in on what you need to get done, and uh, that's what we did. I mean, we toned in on defense. I think we got a big stop after that. Me and Cody mm -hmm. forced a trap, and uh, I took the ball off. Um, I think it was Williams, Williams' body and uh, forced a turnover. So that was good for us. I mean, that was a great trap. That was a great trap. You're exactly right. And a big play near the end of the game where a three would have tied the ball game. Our Drake of Saturday was a, a tremendous day. It was an emotional day. There were so many people here, and everybody felt it. Did the team sink a little bit after that? Do you, when you come back and you play South Carolina, and maybe it wasn't as big a deal? Um, sometimes that happens. And, um, you know, it's, it's called, sometimes you just feel like, you're on top of the world, you know, you feel like you did something, but we got to keep the, the mindset and focus that uh, every game is a big game, no matter who we play. I mean, every every time you step on this court, you got to be able to lace them up and be ready to come and play play the best that you can play. And certainly that's the case Saturday. Not that Mississippi State's great, but Arkansas needs those road wins. Oh, uh, for sure. We got to come in with the mindset that we need, like Coach just said in the locker room, we don't need to just go down there and win one. We need to go down there and take one. And uh, we got we to go down with a mindset that we're not giving up nothing and that we're going to play hard the whole 40 minutes, and I think if we can do that and uh, out-rebound these guys and, and get physical and uh, play our style of play up and down 40 minutes, I think we can come out with the win. Any win's a good win, isn't it? Any win's a great win. <laughs> well, this one was a good win. Mardrakis Wade's our star of the game.